So uh, let's uh, let's look at this. So it says, what is the molar mass of aluminum? So what is the molar mass of aluminum? Is our question is our first question of the day? So let's let me write this down here. So let's see. So what is the molar mass of aluminum? And that's the mere question today. What is the molar mass of aluminum? So we take a minute to think about that question and um, and then we'll answer it together. I'm gonna also bring up a periodic table. So I'm gonna do that first periodic table for you. And then uh, this might help in terms of answering these questions here. So what is the molar mass of aluminum? Uh, so uh, take a moment to think about uh, that question. So what is the molar mass of aluminum? And again, we're gonna do 10 questions. Uh, for today. So it's molar mass of aluminum. So when we're talking about molar mass, we're talking about this concept of, we're talking about this concept of um, uh, stoichiometry, right? So remember, we know the relationship between mass, molar mass, and moles, right? So if you recall, if you recall um, from uh, from grade 11 in our stoichiometry unit, you have moles, or N here, denoted by N, Moles equals mass over molar mass, right? So moles equals, this is mass in grams over molar mass, which is grams per mole, right? And obviously moles is a mole, right? So that's kind of our formula. Or do we need this formula for this equation? In this case, we don't need it, right? Because what it's asking is it's asking simply what is the molar mass of aluminum? And we can actually look at our periodic, periodic table and we can answer this question, right? So if you look at aluminum here, we know that molar mass is basically the atomic mass of our element, right? So it says here, aluminum here says 26.982. So that's going to be our answer, 26.982, right? Our molar mass, big M, of aluminum. So I'm doing subscript AL here equals 26.982 grams per mole, right? And what we can do is we can actually use this to solve for some stoichiom stoichiometric problem, right? If I were to extend this problem further and say, oh, how many moles are in one mole, how many moles are in one gram of molar mass? What we can do is we can actually use this equation. I'll do this in blue, because this is the end of the question here. It's only asking us what's the molar mass, but we can do, we can do moles equals mass over molar mass. And we're assuming one gram so we can assume 1.00 grams of aluminum. Of, oh, sorry, I don't know what that is. Uh, of aluminum. We're going to divide that by the molar mass, which is 26.982 grams per mole, right? Grams per mole of aluminum. And we can divide that out. Let me get my calculator. So it's 1 divided by 26.982, which would give us a mole. So the moles of one of aluminum in one gram would be 0 0.0371 moles of aluminum, right? And we know how to use these stoichiometric problems to solve for a question here. Let's look at this problem. It says molar mass is measured as gram per mole. That's good. Molar mass of aluminum is 26.982 grams per mole of, uh, this, is, this should be aluminum here. Uh, I don't know why they wrote iron here. Uh, they gave us a little history lesson here. The very first table to standardize atomic weight is also called atomic mass. Okay, that's cool. Uh, figure out atomic mass of a component. Um, aluminum's mass is that. Molar mass can be founded by the formula. So it's molar mass is mass given by the chemical formula divided by the amount of substance per mole. So this is 26.982. Good. So this is a great solution. Great solution and analysis. Sweet.